This is Weller Avenue, a cozy little drive in the Roundtree neighborhood. The area is known for its mature trees and serene sidewalks. Patricia Norton says she moved here for the trees and has always enjoyed the breeze that rustled through the canopies and kept her cool in the summer. But when the January ice storm bore down on Springfield, the damage would linger long after the last icicles melted. This is a pin oak um, that was damaged in the ice storm. We had an arborist look at it and he said it had a 50% chance of surviving. So the Nortons hired a professional to prune their tree. A few days later, Springfield uh, arborist decided that because 50% of its canopy was missing, according to him, that it should be um, chopped down. The city marked the condemned trees with an orange letter S, and the neighbors posted signs. But the question many of the residents are asking now is why are these trees being cut down when the power lines run behind the houses in the alleyway? These trees have been trimmed and Patricia says are no longer a hazard. She says it's the trees in the alley that pose the threat now. Some of those trees in the alleys um, are not on the city right away in those alleys, so you know, we won't be evaluating those for removal. Uh, if, if they're up in the, in the power lines, that is uh, city utilities responsibility to, to maintain. Residents say it's hard to determine just who is responsible for their trees. But the one thing they say they're sure of, these neighbors say they're not happy to see them go. As the phrase goes, what goes up must come down, but not for long. The city will use the Neighborwoods program to replant where the old trees once reigned over the grassy lawns. And someday, trees will once again blanket this little piece of Springfield. For Missouri State News, I'm Jennifer Kinsley.